times in Excel are confusing. For example, have you ever tried to calculate the number of hours between two times, but just kept getting some random decimal number that doesn't make any sense? Or maybe, have you ever tried to add hours to a start time, but your stop time just wouldn't calculate right? Well, if you can relate, then give me just a couple of minutes to explain the secret to times in Excel so that you are never confused again. The first thing that you need to understand about times in Excel is that they are actually stored as numbers, but the number formatting is what makes them actually look like times. For instance, take the time here in cell B3. Right now, it shows up as 6 a.m., and if you look up here in the ribbon, you can see that the number format has been set to time. But what happens if you change the number format to general? The 6 a.m. turns into 0.25. Now, the question is, why is 6 a.m. equivalent to the number 0.25? Well, to answer this question, you must first understand that one day in Excel is equivalent to one. That's just how Excel works. And due to how time works, one day is also equivalent to 24 hours. So, since 6 a.m. represents 6 hours of the day, then it makes sense that 6 a.m. is equivalent to 0.25, because 6 hours divided by 24 hours is equivalent to the numerical value of 0.25. And so, there are two big takeaways here. One, times are actually just numbers in Excel. And two, times represent numerical values that are fractions of 24. So, if you understand these two ideas, you can much more easily handle times in Excel. Just take a look at these two examples. Here, you have the start time and stop time, and you want the number of hours. Well, if you just subtract the two times, you get this weird decimal. But that's because times are fractions of 24, so subtracting the two times will give you the time difference. But this difference is also a fraction of 24. So to transform this value into the number of hours, what you have to do is multiply the result by 24. And then you get the number of hours. Okay, let's look at the second example. Here, you have the start time and number of hours, and you want back the stop time. So, you're starting with the time value, and you want to end up with the time value. So, both of these values must be fractions of 24. However, the number of hours that you are trying to add is not a fraction of 24. So, to add the number of hours to the start time, you need to divide the number of hours by 24. And then, when you add it to the start time, you end up with the correct time as a result. As you can see, understanding that times are merely stored as fractions of 24 is the secret to working with times and performing time math in Microsoft Excel. And so with that, like this video if you learned something new, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, Thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next Spreadsheet Life video.